that cute? Yes, it is. The title isn't clickbait. It's not a joke. It's real. Hello, everybody. My name is Sunny McSmarty, and welcome back to the channel, where today we are going to be discussing the wild obsession people have with Stanley Cups. And I'm not talking about this Stanley Cup. I'm talking about this Stanley Cup. Sorry to all you sports fans. I don't mean to disappoint, but, um... Like some drama, like some entertainment, stick around. So what the hell might you be asking is a Stanley Cup? This is a Stanley Cup. It is a tumbler with a straw, um, a built-in thingy so you can take out the straw, drink from it like it's a sippy cup, and it has a handle on it. I don't know about you guys, but I've never seen one of those before. From what I'm aware of, originally the Stanley Cup was marketed towards hikers, campers, you know, the outdoorsy people, not me, sorry outdoorsy people, and became more catered to influencers, nurses, teachers, and I guess everybody on TikTok. And now you might be thinking, yeah, it's just a cup, whatever, but this isn't just a cup. This cup has sparked a crazy spike in consumerism. People are spending $80 for one of these freaking things. And I'm sorry, but does this look worth my $80? I don't think so. It's stupid. It's, it's stupid. It's actually dumb. Spend your money on valuable things. <laughs> I'm not broke, I just don't own a Stanley Cup. But anyway, the main point of this video was the fact that a 23-year-old woman tried to steal 65 Stanley Cups by hiding them in the back of her car in Chicago? I- 65 cups. Why do you need 65 Stanley Cups? I <laughs> oh god, I don't know. But people aren't just stealing the cups. People are running down into aisles of stores, knocking other people over, trampling on other people to try to buy one of these limited edition Starbucks cups, all right? Like, you know in Hollywood movies when they tend to be like, oh, it's Christmas time and everybody wants this one toy, so they storm into a store and it's like mass chaos? Imagine that, but people trying to buy a Stanley Cup. I don't know why we idolize this thing like it's Jesus. But we do. Why? <laughs> I don't understand. I also saw another video where a man attempted to grab a box. Well, he didn't attempt, he did. He grabbed a box from behind a counter. That box had one Stanley Cup in it and people like piled on top of him to stop him from leaving the store. It's crazy. It's just like as an outsider looking in, it's like, what the hell is happening to the world? <laughs> and I just want to say too, these cups aren't even spill proof. You have to buy accessories like spill proof protectors or certain things so that your straw stays in place because it's not spill proof. You knock it over and the straw falls out and then the water falls out and it's just a mess. Like, what is the point of paying $80 for a cup if it is not going to stop from spilling? I don't understand. And you're spending an extra say $20 for your accessories. And about the accessories part, just this woman here has a one for every day of the week if she wanted to wear every color of her outfit. But here she is, or here everybody is, buying like mini backpacks for their Stanley Cup so you can put your wallet in it or your phone in it. But God forbid, I feel like one of the things we lose most or leave behind most in say classrooms or workplaces is our water bottle. What happens now that you've thrown your debit, your credit, your ID into your Stanley Cup and have left it at work? Then what do we do? God forbid your phone. Like, it's not an accessory. It's a water bottle that is not doesn't even fit in your backpack strap like it doesn't if you cannot tell i think they have the most ridiculous thing to be given attention or obsession over these days like fidget spinners i was there for it but not these <laughs> cups all right let's talk about it as a trend point of view all right um for starters trends don't last they're trends for a reason examples of this are the yeti cup which was recently just you know replaced by this stanley cup and then before that hydro flasks you guys remember the visco girls back in the day with their fucking scrunchies and their like hydro flasks i don't have like a hydro flask sound effect but pretend it's there <laughs> but here we are we have the baby of a yeti because it has a handle on it so i can hold it like a cup 
it's so useful, you guys. This is amazing. And I'm sorry, but the aesthetics change, as you guys can see with the entire brand of my channel. This is a true fact. I'm not one for self-deprecating jokes. Earthquake! The aesthetic changes, okay? Clean girly slash Lululemon isn't gonna stick around forever, okay? And I'm sorry, but tell me what is aesthetic about this? It has a big ugly logo on it. I'd rather buy a dupe Stanley cup that doesn't have the logo on it. Like it's... it's pretty ugly if you ask me and the fact that people carry it around like it's another limb isn't any cooler i really think at this point we have become so obsessed with buying what influencers buy and having what influencers have like this photo of olivia rodrigo talking about her stanley cup and how amazing it is and how all of the people that work for her have them like why why do we care it's a <laughs> water bottle okay it is a water bottle there's no there's no, it doesn't, and like I said, it doesn't fit in your backpack. If you knock it over, it's spilling all over the floor because it's not spill proof. And with a contraption like that, if you don't know how to clean it, it is molding on you. You are going to be drinking mold. And apparently it doesn't stay just cold for as people think it does. Like the ice cubes and stuff melt after a couple hours, which I mean, I'll be honest, Makes sense, okay? Does it, just because my high smile toothpaste is branded and shown in ads that it makes your teeth white doesn't mean it necessarily whitens your teeth instantly, okay? 30 seconds isn't long enough, I promise you. And I mean, like, honestly, what are you missing if you don't have it? Like, besides these eight year olds in school who are getting bullied for not having a family cup or drunk elephant, apparently. What's the point? And dear God, you know, when I was a kid in like grade school, I was getting, I, I felt sad when people wouldn't let me play Monster Highs with them at break or dolls or <laughs> polar bears out in the snow, but here we are now, mom mommy, mommy, <laughs> Jessica made fun of me because I didn't have a Stanley Cup. Like, are you kidding? This is stupid. And again, 65 water bottles from the back of her car. What are you going to do with all those? What are you gonna- were you making a mural? Like, were you doing a picture? Like, you know that one from- like, you know that one from Twilight where it's like all like graduation caps? Was that the plan with Stanley Cups? Literally, some people are just buying these and putting them on their walls. I know it's the same thing with Starbucks Cups, but Starbucks Cups aren't $80, okay? Starbucks Cups are about 20 bucks. So the fact now that you're- you're, you're paying the price of a new pair of, like, Decent shoes, not like Nikes, but a new pair of shoes to buy a cup when you probably already have like your preferred cup that you use most of the time. Why would you switch up? Why? And I'm sorry, but if you're saying, oh, I'm drinking water and it's like <laughs> flavored and sugar and I don't know, has rainbow unicorn ice cubes in it that are like filled with lemonade. But is it water anymore? I just like to drink pure water. This is actually lemon water. It's got the little flakies in it. Like, the final point to take away from this rant slash video, don't steal. <laughs> don't steal 65 Stanley Cups, please. Save your money, because what are you gonna do with this water bottle when it molds and makes you uncomfy and then you don't wanna use it anymore, or it scratches and then it's like worth nothing anymore? And $80 is fucking insane for a tumbler, okay? Makes no sense. The cup is barely convenient. Like, yeah, maybe it fits in your cup holder, but can you put it in your backpack? Um, how do you expect yourself to carry it? Or like, put it in your bag because you have the straw in it and you know it leaks. Unless you turn that little thingy and then it like blocks it. I don't know, but at the same time, I'm not just willingly throwing that in my backpack with a brand new MacBook, okay? And the fact that you need to buy accessories to make it more, like, convenient enough to use? Stupid. Actually stupid. Like, Amazon is making their money. Okay. And again, the obsession that we have with things that influencers are showing off for that, the fact that TikTok has it, I need to buy it, or I'm being bullied so I need to buy it, is insane. Like, what are we doing as a society, man? It's really gone downhill. It, it's disappointing. It's really sad. But you know what's not sad? 
being monetized. I'm actually so grateful to tell you guys that we are able to once again work on monetizing this channel. It's been a long road. Um, 3,000 watch hours is no joke, so I just wanted to say that I appreciate you guys all so, so much. You guys mean the world to me, and I'm so grateful to make content for you every, like, once a week or so. <laughs> anyway, yes, thank you so much for supporting my channel, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about the situation down below, because I could personally rant and have conversations about how stupid things are like this all day long. <laughs> And if you're new here and you like what you saw today, feel free to stick around, leave a like, subscribe, it does help out the channel. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.